always climbing up these mountains for the fun of it, it seems. So far of Stonefield, it's a very gloom place. Just gloomy. Actually, what it looks like is, um, like a mountainside where there's mist, like in the middle of the hills of it and all that. I think that's a pretty good, uh, way of thinking. Otherwise, though, so far there hasn't been a whole lot to look at. Start rain again. Hello. Hmm. I'm thinking it only is in certain areas where it rains. Don't know why, but Peace be to you. I'm just gonna assume that because overall that seems to be the case. Good luck. Oh, why didn't the other quest pop up? Come on, you. Great sun, an there we go. We get a shoulder pad. Okay. Crim Tension in Kurtier Camp wants you to harvest light limp from the Tragodites found in Dreadbone Shelf to the west past Titan's Rest. We have to collect ten. Apparently stone feather meat is toxic. Thank you for And those assistance. limp things apparently will counter that toxin. Ah, good to see you. Yeah, this guy is too. Travel west from Gutier Camp to Dreadbone Shelf and lay waste to Dreadbone Sickles and Trogodites. Sounds easy enough. Keegan or Landra wants to exterminate the next generation of Trogodites. Return the Dreadfone Shelf and slay their Dreadbone Young Spawn. Well, that seems kind of harsh, but whatever. And who are the people exactly we're fighting for here? Because the Defiants are in this area, but there's usually, like how the, um, Free March Mordens were the people who were originally from Free March, and the Defiants were there, so who are the people that are supposed to be here? Are there any people uh, like that? Good to see you. Meet Norbert Denbull in Dreadfone Shelf, southwest of, the, southwest of Katir Camp, and use the Rage Extractor on him. Subdue so Norbit if he loses control of the power. So that's what his Ray's extraction device was for. Apparently he wants to use it to power up people. Ooh, 10 to 19 damage. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit better than one of mine, but barely. All right. <laughs> I thought I had something else. That. Anything else? That. I think that's everything. Okay. Alright.
Hmm. Do, 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 do. So are those all the quests in the area? Looks like it, so I guess we'll head on out. I sell the finest wares in Talar. Hmm. I could use some more healing potions, that's for sure. I don't have any more. I haven't been as dependent on them to get through battles as I was on Free March, but... Always a pleasure. Yeah, I'll collect that item, sure. Whatever. Uh, let's see here. I pretty much just got rid of my whole inventory. What else? Coin is always well. I guess I'll take the milk. Mutter's milk, as they call it. Always a pleasure. I guess every area that I go in will have a better form of a uh, drink like that. Hmm. I'm lagging again a bit, but whatever. We're heading to Dreadbone Shelf, is what it was called. I think we'll go see Norbert first. As he's been giving me a chain of quests so far. This is the third quest he's given me so far. I'm kind of wondering what caused those sudden lads lag spikes all of a sudden. Because I didn't see anything happen during that. Maybe it's just because it's loading the background. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Oh man, I've always hated this uh, lag. Quarrystone Road. And it rains again, so I do believe it is area-based. Okay, I'm kind of wondering here if I could... Well, I'm not sure. I don't really want to fight the birds, but maybe I have to. 
Unless I can sneak past. Looks like I was able to. Well, it keeps on moving around, so... I need to get away from where it's moving around from. Seems to be going up and down that path. way to take. Probably have to go around this rock. Or maybe I can squeeze through here. Barely. Sheesh. Alright. Here's where Norbert is with his camp. Could he pick anything farther out away? Well, I guess if he is going to turn into some unruly monster, it'd probably be a better idea to have him. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and do it then. Whoa! How'd I know this was going to happen? Giant. He transformed into a giant ro troll. Alright. I don't know if I should go back or not, because he might have another quest to do. And I don't really want to have to come all the way back here when I do all these quests. But maybe I'll just... Uh, I'm already close to where I have to be, so I should probably just do the rest of these and then head back. I'm sure they're going to tell me to come back here anyhow. They usually always have two sets of quests per area, if not more. Artifact, I believe, is right here by this tree. Kind of out of the way, you wouldn't notice it unless you just did the normal quest like me, I guess, and decided to go through this way. There's a moat over there too, level 22. I wonder if that's been there for a while. Or maybe it just got here because there was a moat statement a couple minutes ago. I don't know if it resets the ones that are still around though. I'm assuming it would. Okay, let's go ahead and kill this one. He's out here by himself for some reason. This president take fall damage that when I fell there. I don't know why he's just standing here. That's one out of twelve. And a limp. One out of ten. Nothing for the trolls? Alright. That makes things simple enough, at least.
there's a moat nearby, I see. There's a, quite a number of them around here, actually. And it seems like the less stuck. Uh, camps or whatever that a place has, the more areas they're going to send me to, because this is like the third or fourth round of quests now. Like, not even joking. Hopefully all these guys will drop limps. Although I guess it doesn't really matter as long as I get twelve dead. Doesn't matter if I miss two of them. So I only need ten limps and I have to kill twelve of them at all. So. That is something I don't want to mess with, so maybe it'll distract some enemies for, him, for me. Young spawn, huh? There's a troll guarding him. There's a dite over there. Yeah, they seem to want to kill the dreadbone inhabitants, so they can distract some people over there, I guess. The roof enemies always seem a lot stronger than the natural enemies to an area, even though they're usually around the same level, if not right on the same level. These guys could probably... Uh, well, that doesn't help. They all scatter about when I near come nearby. That means I'm probably gonna have to get in stealth mode and kill them that way. It's gonna take a while though, I have to kill 12 of them. Yep, I have to do it that way it seems. How did I miss that one? Hmm. Well, seeing as they're not actively attacking me, I could care less. Well, that probably wasn't a smart move, but... Whatever, I have to kill these guys anyhow. Where are these sickle things they want me to kill, too? I've only been able to find the dites so far. And I think I'm gonna die. In fact, I'm pretty sure of it. Killed one, though. I 
Yep, I'm dead. The Dreadbone seem to have a lot better of an idea of what they're doing compared to the, uh, whatchamacallem, uh, Stone Crush ones. Come on. There we go. Where am I? Am I all the way back at Katir Camp? Yeah, I am. Wow. Okay, then. It's kind of annoying. I'm gonna have to run all the way that way, but... At least I know I won't be stopped by anything this time. Don't have to worry about birds or anything. The limp quest I'm probably gonna be done with first out of the three that I have left. Only need six more of those. Still have to kill seven dites and all. I wasn't able to check the one that I just killed before I uh died, so he might have one. I don't know if he dropped anything, I don't remember if he had any shinies on him. I still don't know what I'm going to do about those young spawn. I think I'll save that for the last quest. That's just going to be annoying. Okay, I'm over here, so I should probably make sure I'm not where somebody's going to spawn right on top of me. So, right here looks good. Apparently that one that I killed didn't drop one because I don't see his body anywhere. Die, you. Yep, that managed to kill one. I wouldn't expect him to drop a limp, so... So I'll just come back here every once in a while and... Oh, that's right. Okay. Apparently... Oh, that's not going to be good. Apparently, if uh, I get the young spawn's attention, then I'm still in combat until I get far enough away from them. Great. Just great. That kind of makes this very annoying, but, uh... Shoot, I have to go even farther than this. Let me go ahead and kill one of these guys while I'm at it. There's like three right on top of each other, and that's not what I really need. Let's go with this one, he's not really close to anybody. There we go. 
I am still not out of combat. That is annoying. That is very annoying. Well, this young spawn's hanging out over here too, so that's kind of not... Hmm. That's... not good. Great. Just great. Um... Hmm. What do I do? I have to get far enough away from any of them so they go back to normal. So I have to find a path that'll let me get back away from them far enough to where... Yeah. Great. That's what I thought. Let me kill this one. I should have n just enough health to kill this one and then be almost dead. Okay. Let's get a limb. So I only need four more of those. Still have to kill five more dites and all. Okay, come on, how far do I have to go? There we go, finally. I'm gonna start finally regenerating, regenerating health. That's great. Okay. Yeah, this does help out a lot. So they all go back over here, which is good, because now I can go over and hack one, and then have to fight that troll, but whatever. The good thing about this attack is that it makes them not move for a second, because it takes me two strikes to kill one, which is kind of pathetic when you think about it, because they're level five. I have to kill ten more of those in that manner, so that's going to take forever. I'll just come around and kill the one every once in a while or something. Otherwise, it really will take forever. Uh, let's see. Because while they know I'm around, they'll run away from me, so I have to make sure to be away from them all. It's like a game of hide and seek. Huh. Except it involves getting hacked in the back of a blade if you're not paying attention. At least one of these quests will be done. Actually, both of them will be. I still have to find the sickles, though. The well, limp one will be done. Pretty soon, if I just have to kill four more. I think those sickles are the rams that I see walking around. That makes seven limbs, three more. Honestly, I think I have just enough health to kill another one before I need to wait for my health to go back up. Yep, it's a sickle. And they're aggressive too, which is great. I want the passive ones back. Okay, that's one out of seven sickles dead. I see one of those dites over there by themselves, and I see one walking over there. But first, let's go kill one of those young spawn again. Because they've forgotten about me and it's time to make them remember. Hello. Uh, 